And then we have an amazing skincare line, which I don't know that much about, but it's significant that it has <coughs> seed oils and seed stem cells, and it's an <coughs> inside out process. You know, anything that's healthy will be beautiful. Same with skin, if it's healthy, it'll be beautiful. A lot of people spend a lot of time pushing stuff in from the outside, but healing is better. <coughs> We have a, a, a bunch of products, and this, do you guys know the name Andy Weil? He's an Arizona doctor, one of the early integrative holistic doctors. He says it's the oxidized <coughs> seed oils that are killing people. What he means is that when you buy a quart bottle of flaxseed oil, as soon as you open it and expose it to air, it's like a chain reaction, the whole bottle starts to go rancid. So, you know, four or five days into the process, it's bad for you become the enemy. So a lot of people, I was taught early on to tell people to open up a vitamin E capsule and drop it in to protect it. But still, you're dealing with a situation where oils are the most precious of the foods. They go rancid the soonest. If you have some vegetables and a piece of meat and some oil out on the table, the oil goes rancid first. So that's why we hydrogenate the oils to prevent them from going rancid, but we destroy their value when we do that. So in this context, the concept is freeze the seeds, grind them up as needed, and use them right away. Don't grind up all the seeds on Monday for the whole week. But again, that's difficult to you know be do, doing all that work. But seed nutrition requires eating fresh quality products. <coughs> the black cumin seed, the black raspberry seed, and the chardonnay grape seed are all anti-cancer which is nice, you can Google. Are you familiar with PubMed, P-U-B-M-E-D? This is a wonderful resource. The Government Library for Health and Science. So you can type, you can go to PubMed, and it'll, it'll give you the right link, P-U-B-M-E-D, and you can type in blueberries <coughs> and, and uh, macro degeneration. Or you can type in pineapples and sense of humor. I mean, you can type in anything and link it. And, and you get a huge uh, repository of, of scientific articles. When I first found after 20 years that my back pain went away after two days on this stuff, I took I looked at the ingredients in PubMed, and it was it was embarrassing that I was out there practicing medicine for 35 years and I didn't know this stuff. Huge, huge healing resources in herbs and vegetables and foods. So that's just some science there, which I won't go into. Um, but what's interesting is I mentioned that we have great results with people who have cancer with these products because all cancer spreads by inflammation. So if we can shut down the inflammation, we can stop the cancer from spreading. And funnily enough, <coughs> the cancer is either going to be growing or it'll be shrinking. It doesn't tread water. And if you give the body enough protein, this is the irony. If you give the body enough protein, which is bioavailable, Remember, cancer needs protein to kill you, right, to grow. But the immune system needs protein to fight the cancer. And if you put enough protein on the table for the immune system to have everything it needs, and the cancer to have everything it needs, we're back to a mismatch. A healthy immune system will be a healthy cancer any day of the week. So giving the optimal nutrients, especially with an anti-inflammatory aspect, is very beneficial. But here's what's interesting. P53 is kind of the holy grail in oncology. If you all had a product you could patent which stimulated P53, investment bankers would be writing you checks because that's kind of the greatest thing. If you can stimulate the cancer suppressor gene, well, black luminacy does that. It's kind of interesting. Not only that, it also stimulates something called P73 and P10 and STAT3 and PAR1. Again, from an oncology perspective, they only know drugs that do that with terrible side effects. Here you're just eating a seed, black cumin seed. This is part of why Muhammad said in the Quran, the black cumin seed cures everything but death. It has these, these powers. And then um, another uh, thing is, um, Oftentimes, the patient will go to the oncologist and say, can I take this product with my chemo or radiation? And the oncologist is just trained to say no for a lot of reasons. One of which is if you're enrolled in a clinical trial, they don't want you doing anything different because they want to know that that job comes related to whatever branch of the trial you're on. So they're 
they're not actually acting in your best interest, they're acting in the best interest of the pharmaceutical company that's paying for the trial, which is what was interesting during the AIDS epidemic. They had a terrible time in the science research community because the, the people with AIDS were typically very smart, and they weren't just going to be guinea pigs and just do what they're told. They're taking all sorts of you know adaptogens and everything else. But this product, black cumin seed, one of the main ingredients is called thymoquinone. It's been shown that if you take this while you're taking chemotherapy, the chemotherapy is more effective at killing cancer, and you suffer less side effects. So let me ask you, if your oncologist, if you said to your oncologist, would you mind if I took something which made your chemotherapy more effective in killing my cancer, and also I didn't lose my hair or have bleedy guts and no more side effects, would you object to that? And now if the oncologist says, yes, I don't want you taking that, please go find another oncologist. So this isn't just me. This is um, 2012 um, Biochemical Pharmacology, and it's the same thing, articles on radiation therapy. If you're going to go get radiation therapy for this or that. Have the seeds on board. It will have a better killing effect against the pathogens by the radiation with less side effects. So again, that's just a good thing to know from a scientific perspective. This is um, Photochemistry, Photobiology 2006. Here's a double-blind placebo <coughs> control trial with students in India showing that the black cumin seed increased the attention concentration and the cognition of the students. Double-blinded. Now, that's ADHD, that's Alzheimer's, and that's, you know, mood disorders. If you can, so people with chemo brain, within a couple days to a week, the chemo brain, which the doctor has said, I'm sorry, you'll have that the rest of your life, goes away. So, um, let me just quickly talk about CORE, which is the other main product. This is detoxification, and I consider this product to be more important than soul. And that's because I know that the way the human body works, if you can do either <coughs> give your body everything it needs, or take away all the junk, the body will do well if you just stop the junk. I mean, there's enough. I mean, we can get by on McDonald's, or I guess that's junk, but you know, if you just stop, you know, if you stop the pesticides and everything, the body has a fighting chance. But if you keep that sea anchor on, all those toxins, you can give good nutrients until the cows come home, and you're not going to get too much of a progress. So stopping the junk is really your best option. Um, I always think we stop with what we call stinking thinking. You know, you always have to see the glass half full, and if not, they say, get a smaller glass, and then you'll see it as half full. We're all more fortunate and blessed than we think. So this is our detox product, and it has these amazing greens. It has dandelion and kale. Uh, you know, dandelions. Does anybody eat dandelions? They're amazing, right? I mean, this weed. And the dandelion root has come on strong recently in, um, in research for anti-cancer. So dandelion and kale, it has wheatgrass, and aloe vera. Again, aloe vera is one of the most studied medicinal plants. And then it has, for heavy metal detox, spirulina and chlorophyllin. So it's got this constellation of powerful greens, which are alkalinizing, very cleansing. All of those six I mentioned, you go to PubMed, you type in aloe vera and cancer, 1,000 articles. Dandelion and cancer, probably 60 or 70 articles. All of these greens are themselves anti-cancer, but they're also alkalinizing. But the seeds are where the story is. Women know that for urinary tract infections, cranberry can be helpful. It has something called D-mannose, so sugar, which acts a bit like, um, like uh, just Teflon, so things just fall off the ureter and pass through. That's the dandelion fruit. Pardon me, that's the, that's the cranberry fruit. The seed of the cranberry is much more powerful. We have the seed in this product. So that detoxifies kidney, ureter, and for men, prostate and bladder, bladder cancer. That's the dandelion seed. We also have the milk thistle seed, which is the hero for the liver, the pancreas, and the gallbladder. So we're detoxifying the major organs. And then they have the black cumin seed, because if you're trying to detox, you want your pipes open wide. And an inflamed pipe, like asthma, everything closes down. So you have, you have these two heroic seeds, the milk thistle seed and the cranberry seed, get stuff moving out. 
black Buddha seed. That opens up the pipes and gets things right. This product, I do not like the taste. Kale, dandelion, it's kind of a sludgy product. If you don't like the taste, dilute it in eight ounces of cold water. It's sweetened with mint. Now it becomes like a mint tea, and all that dense wheatgrass and kale kind of disappears. So don't let the taste deter you. It's an amazing product. And then this is the PubMed, it's NCBI. You'll get that link when you type in PubMed. But I went and I looked at these ingredients, and you know, aloe vera, I just referenced three or four articles on aloe vera and cancer, wheatgrass and cancer. And again, I can send these to you, I can send this presentation if anybody wants it, but spirulina or chlorophyllin for cancer, kale and dandelion. So I was born in Concord, Mass, and uh, Henry David Thoreau was there before I was. And he said, I have great faith in the sea. Convince me of the sea there, and I'm prepared to uh, expect wonders. So that's the kind of the pitch about eating the seeds. Now, um, I'm happy to, uh, if someone says, do you have anything on gout? Or, I mean, because the testimonials are really where the rubber meets the road. I mean, I can, I can, I've learned that science doesn't really persuade. But um, happily, these are scientifically validated and also third-party tested, these products. But if, you had, if anybody had questions, um, like cancer came up, stage four, right? Can I show you a, a testimony of a gal in Norway on stage four cancer? Yeah, well, I just asked because our daughter had a melanoma and had to have it removed, and then she's checked every six months. Right. Constantly about it, and I was just looking at something that she could take to continue to feel better about it. Yeah, I, I would... Um, She's got seven children she's better lived for. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would certainly encourage um, her to be on these products, Soul and Core. Most people take one Soul twice a day, one Core twice a day. She could just do one of each if she's otherwise feeling healthy. But she may want more. She And she has a naturopathic nutritionist that she's been going to. So. Yeah, and if that doctor has questions, I'm happy to speak with that doctor and kind of talk to the doctor and <coughs> explain that. So I was at a conference uh, for this company in um, Prague you know, a year or so ago. And this gal, this Norwegian gal, comes up to me and, you know, says, Oh, you saved my life, Dr. Weeks. And of course, I'd never seen her before, but I put a bunch of videos out there and people pass them around happily. So I just met her for the first time. But here's a gal with stage four cancer, given like four months to live. It's metastasized to her stomach, to her liver, and so forth.